Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're going to discuss what to do when you're like turning and shifting during your pull-up. Okay, it doesn't really look very cool, so if nothing else, even if you don't have any shoulder problems or whatever, you probably want to fix it just because it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, trust me. Uh, so when I do my pull-up, what I'm looking for is a nice even grip. We have to ask what's going on here. Well, there's a bunch of organs in your midsection and they're not equally balanced. It's really easy for us to create pressure in certain ways to stabilize ourself, our, our midsection, our torso. Um, and we need that to be stable if we're going to use our, our shoulder blade muscles and our arm muscles to actually pull our body up and manipulate our center of mass. So that's like the biomechanist way to look at this. What, what we need to ask is like, so a lot of people will ask me, why is this happening? The, the simple answer is because you are not symmetrical on the inside and you're creating pressures or stabilizing yourself in weird ways that aren't seeming to help. Okay, so we need to find another way to do that. When I get the next kind of lesson that I want to give you here is the next um, or the, uh, the what happens when uh, I get this twisting motion in my torso is that my hands twist too. And so I start to feel my grip really good on like the uh, outside of my right hand and the inside of my left hand, I believe uh, it's something like that. It might be flip flopped. I don't really know. What you want to try to feel, though, is an even grip from every finger. OK, and that can be your cue that you're not twisting quite as much. OK, because what's what's great about this is there are so many different things that can affect the hands. Um, and, and that's frustrating when you have problems with it. But it's nice to use the hands as a cue. Just similarly, if you've seen the squat, the 100, 100 <laughs> squat videos and the 100 deadlift videos that we made, we did talk about the feet a little bit. And it's the same idea, right? It's the end of the chain. And it allows me to use that as a very good uh, cue, right? I get a lot of feedback up to my brain from these pieces, the hands and feet. Um, so my, my brain is really good at paying attention to those things. So I want to teach you to be a little bit more aware of it. I want you to uh, notice if you're pulling yourself up symmetrically or not. And you can use that as a cue then to re-educate yourself away from this twisting motion that you've got going on. Um, the next major principle, like if you're a trainer, you can keep watching. If you're not, it's going to it might be challenging, but we're going to go for it. Um, the biggest cue I want you to use is try to get an even grip and feel that evenly. The second major thing that I'm looking for as a coach is I need your midsection to be as still as possible. If you feel like your shoulder isn't quite looking the same, maybe one is elevated and it's coming over when you do your row. Like that's really common, but the fix is probably not in the shoulder area. It's in the rib cage area. It's in the torso area. So I need to find a way to change this position so that that shoulder doesn't feel like it's a really good idea to ride up like that. OK, so what you can do is you can you can go back and you can watch the hunt. You know, I'm really plugging my videos right now. This is good. Uh, 100 or so videos on the push up and the handstand. And you can nail down the uh, the positions on those, because in those, if you're going to do a handstand, you need really good shoulder flexibility. And if you can get your shoulders all the way up, this way, your hands to reach straight up vertical like this. It tells me that your rib cage is supporting the motion. It tells me that your rib cage is in a good position so that your uh, upper body has full mobility and can access all of the musculature that is there. And that's what we're looking for in our pull ups and everything. We're looking for a good muscular drive so that we can maximize muscular fatigue while minimizing uh, joint issues and stress. OK, so you got to look at the midsection. Maybe you could do a test. You could do a side plank. 
That's probably that and the various variations of side planks is my favorite group of exercises when I see something like this. So oftentimes when I'm looking at someone, I'm noticing which, you know, which side looks like it has more volume in it, whether it be the left side or the right side. Usually it looks like the left side and it looks like that air in your left lung is pushing you over to the right. So to get you out of that one, I need to exhale because pressurized air can lift a car. I need to get that air out of the way. And then I need to further cinch down with my muscles that position so that I can maintain a good, um, I guess, kind of pressure gradient. Uh, or a good orientation of my midsection. So it's gonna feel really messed up if you get it right, because you've been kind of cockeyed and that feels normal to you. And so to get back to a less cockeyed version, it's gonna feel really off, okay? I'm, I'm forewarning you because I want you to kind of steer into it when you do find that, when you find a position that looks more symmetrical but doesn't quite feel it, you're probably in a good area and you need to spend more time there. So again, the, the side plank, and I have a genie side plank that I talk about a lot. I like those because they really help you cinch up whatever side might be overinflated. You also wanna stretch out the other side. So I might have you lift the other arm up like this. I might have you do some hanging variations and try to, again, make your grip feel even. That uh, pertains to not just the pull up, but not just when I'm moving my arms, but when I'm hanging as well. It's a really good cue. I would take that, okay? Use that. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm, again, even grip and even torso, okay? I don't wanna give you, I just, I'm not gonna tell you all about all of the 10 years of study that I've done on this stuff. What I want you to do is use your own eye and check to see how you feel to find ways to even those things out, right? It's, it's pretty intuitive when you can break it down that way. And I, there are nuances and sometimes you're going to do everything that I'm saying in this video and it's not going to be enough because there's going to be something else. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to help most of you out there by helping you identify where these limitations are, where these asymmetries are, and then using exercises that maybe you already know and using them to, uh, you know, restore a really healthy position that allows full shoulder range of motion and lets you do your pull-ups really safely.